Hey guys, Luke here, welcome back to episode 4 of my Red League Life 3 Lottery. Now you might be noticing Sam closes the last episode, that's because I am recording this directly after episode 3. So, uh, I was on a pretty good run after last episode, hopefully we can continue on uh, the form and go on and smash the next two people. Okay, so we got the first match of the episode, we're taking on the Bruma Bull. So, uh, it should be a pretty good game. Did invite some other people, but they didn't join. So yeah, Bruma Bull is our first opponent, hopefully uh, it's a good game. Okay, so I just noticed that he's actually playing as the Tigers. It didn't even occur to me that he was playing as the Tigers, but uh, yeah, I'm not sure if this is an updated squad or I don't I don't know what to go, but he's got Mitchell Moses in the side, so he'll be looking to exploit that. Looks like a 2016 side with, um, yeah, Matt Ballin in the side. Yeah, Joel Edwards as well. So yeah, it will be an interesting game. I'm um, Curtis Heron on the bench there. Me personally, would have had him in at 5'8 over Mitchell Moses, but hey, I'm not the coach anymore. That was the West Coast career mode. That's behind me now. Oh, he should keep doing those offloads. Keep doing those offloads, man. It's worked out this time. Let's see if it works out again. Intercept! Darius Boyd! Back on the wing now. I think it's his first game back on... Oh, no. Second game back on the wing. And Darius Boyd will score under the post there. He went for a huge cut-up pass. I don't know why he didn't stick to on uh, what he was doing earlier. Just going for the, you know, drawn pass and that sort of stuff. But, uh, yeah. We picked up at the first try of the game. Um, with our first touch of the game, so that was nice. Okay, so I just realized Cooper Cronk is the goal kicker for this. We need to change that as soon as possible. So let's go ahead and do that right now. We need to put Matt Moylan as the goal kicker. Oh, shit. Wow, that was terrible from us. Why the hell did I throw that pass? We'll throw a gap. Oh, great tackle there, Matt Moylan. I thought he was in for a try there. I was just about to uh, talk shit about myself for missing tackle. I'll pick it up. Oh, that's great from him. A repeat set. Doesn't happen too often online, but he's got a repeat set. Oh, let's hit the deck straight from the kickoff. Oh, no. Go after it. Dive. Oh, he's got the ball. That is shit. He's gone. Oh, he's gone. Oh, no. Oh, for fuck's sake. He's dropped it again. Dropped it again. This time it's Jake Friend picking it up. And he's going to make a few meters. He just can't understand the concept of uh, wet weather footy. So it's working out well for us. He's offside there of Joel Thompson. Come back through. That's a forward pass there. There we go. And that will round us up to half time. It would have been nice if we could have got the opportunity from the scrum, but it uh, wasn't meant to be. And at halftime, it's 6-0. I think we got this guy covered. Okay, second half underway. Hopefully, it's a little bit better than the first half. Some more tries would be nice. On our end, anyways. Not trying to do that, but whatever. Back through the middle there to Mitchell Pierce. Cannot take it around to Desco. That was... Ah, oh, shit. Oh, through Josh Morris. Oh, Tedesco's not at home. Josh Morris has gone through and he scored. Damn, Josh Morris. Just like uh, last episode in the try he scored. I wasn't expecting it to actually happen. I was waiting for the fullback to come across and I was going to try and step him, but just never happened. Good work, J Moz. So I just did some. Oh, why is Cooper Cronk still kicking? I just changed it. I think that is a little bit of a glitch. I think I remember that from happening, but it's just, you know, one of many glitches that have yet to be fixed in this game. So hopefully, the one time they will, you know, they'll patch it within the next five years. Strip it, strip it. There we go. We stripped the ball. Thank God I didn't change the player like I normally do and switch to the player who's trying to strip it. Madalino is through. madalino has got support. That's Moylan. Matt Moylan, go for the corner. Can he get there? It looks like he will get there. Moylan, it's a foot race. Matt Moylan will score. That's great work there, Madalino. We realized that he had been rushing up on some players um, expecting the pass like we had been doing to him. Um, but yeah, we took advantage of it and we switched it up and went for a whole different method which was going back to where his player was and you know we've resulted you know we've had a great result of it i think you do it about here there we go we've started it come on oh i've absolutely butchered it oh i was swinging back around damn just a little bit too much pace going on there mola missed his goal he's zero from one oh he's, he's offloading now What's he doing? He's just gone back like 20 meters there. 
That was idiotic play to say. I don't know what he's doing. Well, I know what he's doing. He's throwing it really nilly, but it's just not working for him at all. And there's the intercept there. Cooper Cronk. You just can't throw it around. It's I keep saying this game after game. You can't keep throwing it around. There's the inside ball. It's Joel Thompson in under the post there. The inside ball. It works like a charm every single time. And we slot the goal. Cooper Cronk. I can't complain too much. He's three from three. Oh, he bumps straight through. Is that Luke Brooks? It makes sense if it was Luke Brooks. Me off. Intercept. Oh, we've kicked the ball. God damn. That should have been a try there. It would have been another player. And now uh, we've just been screwed, really. Go to the sideline. Perfect there. That's when you use the legs tackle. We've worked that one to perfection, really. But that is full time. 22 to 0. Um, you know, I've got to say, the first half was quite competitive. But we did work him out. That's exactly what we're going to keep doing. Um, not every player is going to be the same. But what's not going to work for me is you guys being able to see how I'm playing. You've been able to see me, um, you know, over, you know, years, whatever, if you've been subscribed for a long time, see my play style, whereas I'm coming up against new people every single time, and I've just got to make sure I keep adapting to people. As you can see there, only the four tries scored, so we'll get four players for the first game, uh, as well as all the others, the five players for winning, the three players for just playing. Okay, we've got a container here with all the players. We're actually getting down to... Um, you know, we've gone through a fair few players. I can see a few good players in the container uh, left. Well, a lot of good players left. But uh, let's go ahead and give it a little bit of a um, shuffle, and then we can go and pick our first player. Player number one is Dylan Walker. Um, pretty good chance he might find himself in the side. He's a good player, and um, yeah, I don't know how good he is on the game, but good player. Good signing for Manly in real life, by the way. It's Chris Sandow. Pick number three is holy shit! It is Billy Slater. Um, the best fullback on the game, Boylan's Boylan been doing a fantastic job, but I cannot keep Billy Slater out of the side. He's easily the best fullback on this game. I think he's the fastest fullback on the game too. Like, this guy's electric on this game. He's in real life, but what a pickup. That's probably the best pickup in the game. Tim Lafire. Rory O'Brien. Our next pick is... Holy shit. We already got one superstar fullback. We got another. It's Roger Tuovasa Shek. Um, I mean, I don't know how I'm going to fit all these players in. I mean, there's part of me that wants to keep Moylan, but Slater and two of us are Shaq. They play them on the wings, but uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with this side. We've got... Uh, our side's incredible at the moment. Uh, maybe this is happening all too fast. It is happening all too fast to me. Tyson Frizzell. Um, he's a good player, a good solid player. I uh, was in contention for New South Wales spot this year, but... Uh, yeah, we'll have to see how good he is in the game. I think he's okay, but... I mean, our second rowers and, you know, just our four pack is pretty stacked at the moment. It's Brett Morris. Um, we got probably the best winger in the world, I have to say. Although he's, he did play fullback the last year. Um, Brett Morris is too good to pass up, throw him on the wing. He will be coming in. Maybe we can get the, the Morris combination, uh, center and winger there. I'd love to have that. Both the Morris boys, both my favorite players. So, um, yeah, I'm sure we can work Brett Morris into the side somewhere. It's Valentine Holmes. Now, I know he's a really good player in this game. I used him in the Win 1 Take 1 series, and I found him to be very, very good. However, um, ratings-wise, obviously, we just got Brett Morris with two of us a Shaq. I've... Plus the people we've already got. I can't see him being in the side. Luke Keary. This is David Fusatua. This is Greg Eastwood. Uh, one of my favorites in real life. I'm not sure what sort of role we have for him um, in this side. I'm sure we can probably find a spot for him if needed. But um, yeah, our forward pack is already stacked as it is. I keep saying this every time we get a forward. But yeah, Beastie is a great player. And I didn't notice that at the time. But that was the last player we got. Greg Eastwood runs it up. Um, looking at all the plays he got. That was a phenomenal set for us. We got Roger Tuivasa, Shek. We got Brett Morris. We got Billy Slater, Dylan Walker. Um, you know Greg Eastwood, another good player. Valentine Holmes. A lot of great players who, um, you know, have we got them early on in the series? They all could be in the side. Whoever the only lock-ins at the moment would be Billy Slater, um, Brett Morris, and Tuivasa, Shek. I have to say. So, you know, maybe there'll be a few others who might find themselves in the side. Who knows? We'll go and add all these players in, and I'll come up with the best side that I think is, um, you know, suitable for me. Okay, so I've just added all the players in that I think is suitable for the side. Let's take a look at the new lineup. So we've got Billy Slater in at fullback. We've got Brett Morris on the wing. Josh Morris retains his spot. He's been great for us. So we've got the two Morris boys linking up there. Uh, we've got Dylan Walker coming in for Justin Hodges, which might be a bit of a surprise to you, but um, that's what we've done. I uh, thought Dylan Walker, 89 rated. Hodges was 88. It's got a little bit more speed, and um, I just want to try out Dylan Walker, to be honest with you. Then we've got Roger Tulvasa Shek. He is familiar with the wing position, obviously plays fullback, but... Um, played many years on the on the wing, including winning a premiership, so it should be no problem to him. Uh, also, another a teammate of his from winning the premiership, still got Pierce and Cronk in the halves. Madalino has been elevated to 
the prop position, the starting prop position, and I'll get to that in a second. Um, Jake Brem retains his spot, Nate Miles, rest of the four packs all the same. The bench is Mitchell Orbison, Gavin Cooper, Greg Eastwood comes in. Now, Madalena got elevated to the starting side, which means Aiden Tolman drops out of the side now. It's a little bit of an interesting one. I picked Eastwood because he can play a range of positions and he's got a bit more speed than the others and speed's very important in this game. Um, but yeah, we could have went with um, Clemmer, could have worked with Napa, Lilliman. There's a fair few forwards we could have thrown um, on the bench there, but uh, we decided to go with Eastwood just because of his, he's got a bit more versatility. Anyways, Gareth Woodup rounds out the side there. Um, it is looking like a really, really top class side and probably better than a lot of sides we're going to be coming up against. Okay, it's only taken like 10 hours, but I finally found uh, a game for game 2 of episode 4. So let's go ahead and pick my side. It looks like he's going to play as the Rabido, so it should be a great game. Or not, he swapped to play as the West Tigers, which is interesting. Please not, yeah, that's a good jersey. Okay, here we go. Taking on XX, Zombie Man 9 XX. Um, yeah, it should be a pretty good game. He's looking to skip it, unfortunately. We're not going to be skipping it. Need to see his lineup. So it is the original side. Pat Richards is in it. So, oh, he's got Benji Marshall in the centers. Maybe it's. Okay, this is a very, very different side. Ben Barber. Um, Alex Johnson in the second row. I'm a little bit confused. Uh, Kevin LeGrime at the prop position. Inglis. Holy shit. There's a custom side. This is going to be a tough game. There's no way to put it other than this is going to be a tough game. Oh, intercept. Oh, Ke Kevin Proctor. What are you doing? Catch it. Intercept, Joel Thompson, too easy. He just read it like a book. We nearly, uh, we nearly did it earlier, and he got away with it, and he kept persisting. And we have scored our first touch of the game, very similar to what was the last game. I can't remember which game it was, but um, one of the more recent games. The only problem with us swapping and changing our team around all the time is that I'm never sure of who should be the goal kicker, and we're kind of left with no proper goal kicker. I think Dylan Moore can kick goals. Hopefully, on the game, he can kick goals, anyways. Okay, so our first proper set in attack starts from the kickoff. Um, yeah, 6 0. What a way to start. It's an early kick there from Mitchell Pierce. We don't do it too often, but he's actually got a great connection to it. Kick on! Oh, just short of a 40 20. That would have been a great kick. Mate, Miles palms off one. Can we win a penalty? That would be phenomenal here. Win a penalty. There we go. Held in the tackle. Just like, like we expected. That animation seems to just give penalties all the time. At least latest tackle. Let's shift it right out to the wing here. I think we've got the numbers. Should be okay. Oh, we've blown it. We really needed to pass it. I thought he was going to slide across there, but he didn't. Here we go. Kevin Proctor. Oh, so close. So close. We stored a little bit there with the hooker. Oh, wow. What the hell? Well, that's a good little bomb there. Come on, get under it, Gallon. Oh, he's caught it. Uh, that doesn't happen too often, usually with those sort of ones. Okay, he's trying up a different tactic. He's trying, instead of passing, to try and cut back on the inside. Um, and it's not, it is working out okay for him, but not greatly. But I mean, if he swaps it up and changes it a little bit, and you know, every now and again, it might work out effectively for him. But so far, not too much. Oh, I've grabbed him. They've offloaded it. They're going to offload again. No, they're not. That is a hand over there. It's great defense from us. We've got probably this set to try and score before half time. One last chance here. Cooper Cronk it is. He can slot them from distance. And we've popped over a field goal right in half time. We'll be going to half time with a seven point lead. That could be crucial for us. That could be the deciding factor. Oh, he has put that like 10 meters over the dead ball line. Maybe not 10 meters, but about 5 meters. That is a perfect start for us in the second half. And we've got to take advantage of this skill position. We haven't been doing it. Yeah, something's going to give now. He's got to have tired players. You can't defend your own line for you know, for the whole game. Right, let's hit Pierce over on the edge here. Throws a pump fake. Oh, oh shit, we've blown it. No, we haven't. Oh, no, we have blown it. We threw a gap. Twice we threw a gap, and we threw the unnecessary pass. God damn. We've just blown great field position. Otherwise, we probably would have had a strip there. Oh, that's... Oh, no. Great read there by Jay Moz. Both the Morris boys um, using their twin... Their twin telepathic powers there to link up very well and shut that one down. Gallon straight down the middle there. Oh, there's no support. Where was Billy Slater? Moylan was beautiful at backing up that. Great work here. Got the overlap. Oh, he's ran straight past us. 
That's worked perfectly. He kept taking, um, he kept taking the other player every other time. We kept throwing the pass, and this time we just go straight through. Kevin Proctor, it is, and that was a well worked try that one. And he's kicked it pretty easily. Um, I thought the win might have played a bit, little bit more of a factor there, but it didn't. Let's continue going to the right here. Billy Slater, it is, drawing pass. There we go, Dylan Walker. Oh man, I didn't know what to do. He had Pat Richards backing up there. Can we kick a 40-20 maybe? That'd be nice. Oh, he's full back there. Whoops. Oh, he's passed it. He's passed it to nobody except, I think it's Benji Marshall has gone back and collected it in the center position. Oh my god, this guy's game has turned to crap here. He's passing it. He's going back in his own goal line here. Oh my god, that is absolutely horrific. I'm sorry, zombie man. That was horrific. This game, I knew you could do short kickoff. Uh, sorry, short dropout, but not really like that. Oh, we're through. Go Piercy. Mitchell Pierce scores. And that's, once again, he just keeps taking the runner instead of uh, instead of the man on the ball, which you kind of need to do, but it's hard in this game online, but you just got to try and figure out what the opponent does. And when you like me, you just switches it up all the time. It is tough to defend against. All right, stop the goal. Now I'm going to try and find out a way to bring on Gareth Widdop, ideally. All right, let's hit the centers here. This should be a not. Oh, whoops, wrong way. It's worked out okay though. Josh Morris takes it around Tedesco. Josh Morris, can he score another try? This should be three from three from Josh Morris, and it will be. Uh, a little bit of shame Brett hasn't got more involved, but Josh Morris scores another try, and he's a great player in this game, and a great player in real life. And I'm happy to have him on the side as well as Brett. Let's not waste any time. We don't need to do any interchanges. Keep the goal straight away. Dylan Walker does four from four. Seems to be a pretty decent striker of the ball. Um, yeah, it doesn't seem too bad of a goal kicker. Oh, Cooper Cronk through the middle. Takes it around the fullback. Kevin Aguama is chasing. We know how fast Kevin Aguama is, but he's in the prop position. But Cooper Cronk has got the speed trait in this game for some reason. And Cooper Cronk ends up scoring. That was just a really, really nice try. Just on the inside, usually it's Cronk to Slater. But this time it was, um, I think it was Pierce to Cronk. The halves linking up. That was a little bit strange, but uh, a try nonetheless. Once again, from right in front, we can throw this over. Dylan Walker kicks the goal. I started saying it before it even um, kicked the ball, but it was just, it was a sure thing. He was going to kick the goal. Is that going to go dead as well? What's, ha what's happening here? Oh, what? What the fuck just happened then? Oh my god, the, the game has completely glitched out here. You can see there's only a few minutes left on the clock, but... Uh, okay, what the hell? Alright, whatever. Game glitched out. <laughs> that should be interesting to show to everybody. But I was just one of the number of glitches that are in this game. Oh, damn, that's not who we wanted to pass. Oh, through a gap anyways. Should have just took it around him. I decided to not be, you know, too much of a dick, because I got lucky to get through it anyways. The scoreline is what it is already. And yeah, what a glitch that was at the end of the game. That was interesting. Anyways, 31-0. Uh, very convincing performance. Um, at halftime, it was once again like the last one. Uh, the last game of this episode. Even the same sides. Very similar in, its, in the sense that at halftime, it could have went either way. But then we just ended up going on with it in the second half. You can see there are five tries from our side. So we'll be getting five players for the tries being scored. Okay, we've got the container back again. We keep racking up scorelines, so we're getting lots of players in here. Uh, hopefully, we can get some good ones, although our side is stacked at the moment, so I don't know exactly who would who we would get who would make the team better. Pick number one is Sam William. Next pick is Glenn Fisiahi. Matt Duffy. Next pick is... Oh, wow. It's Ben Hunt. Now, have we not had Kronk and that sort of stuff? Maybe we would have got a run, but uh, yeah, our halves are pretty... I'm pretty settled on our halves at the moment. Sione Mitaria, a former Australian international kangaroos player. Can't believe that happened, but uh, I think he's like 82 rated in this game. Not particularly that good um, compared to what I've already got, so I probably will not be seeing any game time. Sean Fencer. Michael Leacher from the Bulldogs. Um, we've already got a good hooker, and um, well, I've totally blanked on who it is, but they're better than him. Jake Friend, and jo Josh Hodgson, Matt Ballon. They're better than Michael Leacher on this game, so yeah, won't be using him. It's uh, Tom Burgess, a good player in this game. But you've seen how stacked our props are. Won't be using him, probably. It's Glenn Stewart. Um, a good player. Um, might find his way into the side, to be honest with you. Um, he's a lock on here. I think he's actually rated really well. So we'll have to wait and see how good he's rated. But is the possibility that um, Glenn Stewart could be in the side. Next pick is Thomas Lulawai. 
uh, former international, or New Zealand international, probably a current international actually, but um, he's a good player, but we don't really have any use for him. Kurt Baptiste, Christian Wells Nickel or something. Uh, I haven't heard of him, so we'll not be in the side. And the next pick is Robbie Rocco. Um, I like him as a real, as a player in real life, but on the game I suspect he's not very good, so chances are I probably will not be using him. And I believe that is the last pick that uh, we were allocated. And uh, yeah, there's a few good pickups, in particular the first few that we got. Oh, actually, there's actually no good pickups. Looking at it now, I was thinking of the last one, but uh, yeah, that's a pretty poor set of uh, pickups. But I mean, looking in here, there's probably only a, you know a handful of players who are absolute superstars. I mean, players like Cameron Smith are still in there, but. I mean, you know, we've got a lot of the good plays in the game, so I'm, I'm not sure how many plays are actually left, but, you know, in terms of absolute superstars, probably not too many. So basically, I'm going to go check out what the players are rated, see if they're worth putting in. Chances are they're probably not, but maybe Glenn Stewart and a few others, um, Tom Burgess and that sort of stuff might be. Um, but, yeah, we'll go and see what our uh, squad would be going into next episode. Okay, so not too many changes in here. Uh, I think only just the one change, so we'll go ahead and talk about it quickly. You see, um, in the props, you see Madalino still there, Jake Friend in the lock position. Paul Gallen, now in um, the prop position, you can see there he was at the lock position. And that lock position is now being occupied by Glenn Stewart, 87 rated. Um, seems like a pretty decent player. How good he is in game, I'm not really sure, but 87 rated, uh, it is worth giving him a go. Now that means uh, someone drops to the bench. Um, and Nate Miles drops to the bench, which means, ah, oh, totally blanked on who it was, he was on the bench. Um, we'll go through and have a look. Uh, hopefully it sort of uh, comes back into my mind. Um, I think it was. Hang on one second. It should come up. Anyways, it's it's not coming up, but whoever it was couldn't have been too important. But um, yeah, that is our team um, going into the next game. It was probably someone shit. I don't know. Oh, Mitch Alberson. It was Mitch Alberson. Second roll. So yeah, last episode, uh, last game, I actually realized we were lacking a prop on the bench. So we played Greg Eastwood at prop, which he can, but... You can see now we've got two props. We've got Eastwood and Miles. Well, one genuine prop, but one, you know, lock who can play prop as well. Anyways, that's where this video is going to be ending. Hopefully you did enjoy it. If you did, make sure you hit the like button and share with your friends. It's very important in the growth of my channel and the growth of like Rogue League Live 3 uh, as a game uh, on YouTube. I think it'd be really great if we can grow this community. Um, and yeah, leave a like, uh, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Twitter at MrLukeMyT, face the page in the description below, and I'll see you for my next video. Bye, guys.